this is the Science of Sight exhibition. It's an interactive educational e exhibition which is really an opportunity for us to showcase the pioneering research that we're undertaking uh, at Moorfields Eye Hospital and UCL Institute of Ophthalmology. And it's also set up to promote the fact that art is accessible to everyone, not just those who are fully sighted. What we want to do is showcase the fact that we are investigating uh, genetic eye diseases. We're teaching individuals visitors how you can grow eyeballs from a piece of skin. The other aspect is to teach the general public and children about vision. We want to make people aware of the parts of the brain that we use to see and what happens if we go blind. If you're a child that's born completely blind or you go blind by the age of six then the visual cortex is completely repurposed for sound and touch so you actually have two parts of your brain working for those senses so we're telling all the kids that those children actually have super senses uh, that compensate for the loss of their vision. As highlighting that what we've done is we've brought a collection of different artworks Work, which is all tactile and it was actually generated by um, a charity called Blind Art who believed that art should be accessible to all and so the Blind Art charity put together a collection of high quality art created by professional artists that both sighted and sight impaired individuals could enjoy. The atmosphere has been overwhelming and we've had groups of kids just sitting around the tables listening to us and smelling our scents and feeling our artwork which is really fantastic. I thoroughly enjoy interacting with young kids trying to you know drive their curiosity answer their questions and try to get them thinking about what's going on around in them if we can energize the next generation coming through you know they'll be able to keep following up because they're asking why do we see this or why don't we see this it's been a really great experience working with these kids and answering their questions whatever they could be to you know is the eye squishy to well, why can't we see UV light? They're also intrigued by stem cells and the fact that they can develop into various different parts of the body. They love the fact we can grow mini brains and mini eyes and hearts and that you can see the beating um, heart cells in a Petri dish. There's definitely been many kids that have come through that definitely have the drive that are very interested in it. But I think the best part about being here is actually the ones that your know, mom and dad drag them up here and they don't really want to say anything and by the end of it they're playing with all the toys and really engaging in it and I think that's really the best part about this is trying to drag them out of hey science is actually fun. Being involved in, in this exhibition has been amazing. Having kids and the general public come and listen to us talk about our research and interacting with all the pieces has just been amazing because even if I could teach them one thing and they take that one thing home with them that inspires them and potentially it, it, it inspires them to become the next generation of scientists and clinicians that will continue all this good research. Um, but over the last two days we've seen over 3,000 people. Uh, so there's been a lot of talking and a lot of learning um, and I, I couldn't be more grateful to be invited to the Science Museum to do that.